Hello everyone, welcome to our presentation, Agile Testing, Adding Values to Agile Teams. Uh, my name is Amela Teftedaria and I'm lead QA engineer at Comtrade with 10 years of professional experience in software development industry and proficiency in test automation. Uh, I'm also a certified ISTQB foundation level tester and scrum master. And this is my colleague, Adisa Sinanovic. Hi all, welcome from me also. Hopefully we will have discussions, positive atmosphere, and we will all take something new from this lecture. I'm Q engineer at Comtrade for four years, also <coughs> test automation specialist, ISTQB certified tester, and scrum master. Okay, we would like to take a chance to thank to our organizers and sponsors. Without them, we wouldn't be here. Uh, now, to say something about Comtrade. At Comtrade, we believe that some things just can be compromised, like quality of our software, because today we are living, living in a world where software is uh, part of almost every aspect of our life, from video games, entertainment gadgets, to medical devices, complicated uh, traffic air control systems, and so on. So we know that <clears throat> it is really important that uh, errors are not uh, overlooked in each, each level of software development life cycle. And with 900 uh, satisfied customers, thousands of successful finished projects, and our proven testing ex uh, expertise, uh, we are trusted partner for all your QA work. I would like to present you Quest. Quest is a community inside Comtrade Group that brings together people from quality engineering, testing, and quality assurance domain. From that uh, community, the idea of organizing the first Comtrade DevOps and testing conference was born. Quest for Quality is a testing community event gathering more than, sorry, <laughs> gathering more than 200 test engineers, test leads, test leaders, quality directors, and other key industry professionals from the Adriatic region, Dutch countries, Ireland, and UK. I had a chance to be a part of this conference, and it turned out to be a great event. It was a two-day event that finished yesterday. We enjoyed participating on lectures and workshops as here today. It was a great opportunity to meet other professionals from the software testing community. Uh, also, we would like to mention our Share IT Sarajevo Meetup Group, which was founded in March this year. We created this uh, Meetup Group uh, to reach the wider community, and we, we invite all of you to join us on our Meetup page. Uh, we uh, organize regular Meetups for discussion and debating IT-related topics, and we are inviting presenters and lecturers to join us. Uh, also, until now, we had four successful meetups, and we can say that one of the lecturers is here today. He was, uh, <laughs> he, he was presenter in the first meetup, Denis Rudonja. And uh, we are especially proud, proud of our last meetup, Learning to Test and Testing to Learn, which was part of Team Star competition 2016. There were 11 meetups, testing meetups across Europe and Canada, which explored uh, this year's uh, Eurostar conference team, Learning to Test and Testing to Learn. And our team from Share IT Sarajevo was the winning team, so we won the grand prize visiting Eurostar conference in Stockholm this year. And just to add, uh, this presentation was actually product of uh, all our findings and uh, discussions we had on our meetups and in our QA community that Adisa already mentioned. And now something about how we came up to this topic. Testers who have worked on agile projects are struggling when they move to uh, testers who worked on traditional projects are struggling when they move to Agile projects. We had the chance to work on traditional projects, and when we started working on Agile projects, we uh, needed to adapt to the process, we needed to change uh, um, the mindset to Agile, and it was not so easy as we expected. We wanted to share our lessons that we learned from our projects, and also 
from our meetups, and testers must understand the values and principles that are European Agile projects and how testers are an integral part of a whole team approach together with developers and business representatives. Okay, so before we go over some testing, agile testing challenges that we have encountered in our projects, let me ask you how many of you are working as QA engineers in agile projects? If someone wants to share their experiences, uh, what challenges did you have on your projects and how were you able to solve, were you able to solve those challenges? Anyone? Okay, if no one wants to share, then we can continue with the one that we have identified. Thanks. Okay, the first one, communication. No matter how good the process or team member experience is, if there is lack of communication among the team members or with the product owner or with the designer and etc., nothing will work. We all know that uh, agile development depends on constant collaboration. It often happens that some team members do some changes to the source code and don't inform testers. And the testers usually lose a lot of his time to understand what the problem is. Solution that we found useful is Three Amigos meeting. Some of you are probably familiar with this term. On every meeting, developer, tester, and business analyst need to be present. The aim is to create the common understanding and shared vocabulary across these individuals. Also, now we, helped, uh, we have uh, the Four Amigos meeting and we are inviting the designer to join to our meetings. Also, what is helpful uh, for being informed is to have a tool to plan or, and track your product. On my project, we are using Jira. And Jira is, and what's useful is that you can cre create your own workflow because every team has a unique process for shipping software. <coughs> Uh, one of the challenges that we also noticed is that defects are sometimes considered uh, on a personal basis. <laughs> because uh, when, when you raise defect, it is uh, often, uh, if you raise defect in an unconstructive way, it's often, uh, it is often uh, seen as uh, criticism for individual, not the software. But uh, one way of avoiding that is having better communication team, as Adisa already mentioned, because as a team, we all share a common goal, and that is uh, creating high-quality software. So we have to put our feelings aside and improve our communication. The next one, a limitation of time. Most of the stories with the large complexity are ready for testing at the end of the current sprint and at that time it's difficult to complete your sprint goal. goals. What helped us is using swarming method. When swarming, the whole team is working together on the same story and the story is not complete, uh, completed, considered done until all team members developers, manual or automated testers, designers have finished tasks related to that story. Benefit of this is that the whole team is working on the same story at the same time. And we are not taking a new story until the, we are not finished with the first one. <clears throat> uh, what can be challenging also is changing requirements at last minute. We know that changing requirements uh, or dropping stories mid-sprint is not uncommon for Agile projects, unfortunately. But also we have to know that change is inevitable in Agile, so we have to adapt. Uh, if you are in a situation that requirements are changing towards end of the sprint, it is real and there is no time to test adequately everything, it is important that you inform the whole team about what tests have been run and which part of application hasn't been tested. So the team can make informed decision based on risk, whether to release feature or not. Continuous testing. In Agile, testing is not a phase, it's a continuous activity. Testing starts from the very beginning, even before the development starts. This means that testers should collaborate with product owners to learn the details of the story and then help write good acceptance criteria. We should start creating tests, automated or manual, as soon as possible, so that when the new feature is available, for, we, we should start testing straight away. 
Testers need to practice to prevent defects before they happen rather than only to detect them. It's far cost effective and agile testing mindset, mindset needs to be accepted. <clears throat> One of the things that is also difficult is estimation effort. So estimating size and scope of new work can be difficult, especially if you are a new team member. So one way of handling it, this is you can ask more experienced colleague to help you with estimates or uh, you should definitely ask for clarifications of user stories using examples. And we can only say that with time it gets easier. So uh, I know that I have sometimes felt like it's in this picture and probably most of you. Missing story information. Sometimes we don't have all the details or well-defined acceptance criteria. This creates a challenge for testers because there is lack of, of understanding of requirements and so proper test cases cannot be constructed. To start testing, we don't need all the detailed requirements. We should be thinking about the high-level scenarios that test the concept of the whole story, rather than only to sit and to wait to get the full clarification about the future. And Asking questions and asking to get examples will help us to get all the details that we need. <clears throat> Lots of manual testing. Well, we all know that uh, testing regression tests manually takes a lot of time, a lot of people working on, the, on it, and it's not really effective. So best way is to have uh, automation test automation for regression tests, and, uh, but we should also remember that exploratory testing is also needed, very much needed, and it is complementary to test automation because uh, test automation, uh, if you have experienced manual tester with a lot of uh, background, he can find or he or she can easily find defects that can be missed with test automation. So it is essential to have both. but. Uh, so you should uh, have automated regression test suite and uh, manual testing, exploratory manual testing for new features that have been added. Technical knowledge to write automation tests. One of the big concerns is whether testers should write automation scripts or not. We personally, because we are passionate automation engineers, <laughs> believe that it's a great benefit if you have testers with technical knowledge that could help you to run and maintain automation scripts. It's not a must, but it's a benefit. And um, when if testers came, came from a poorly manual or exploratory background, it will, it, he or she he will find it very difficult to keep up with automations. Solutions are exploring on the internet, reading books, blogs, uh, attending internal, external trainings, workshops, and participating on meetups, and so on. Uh, one of the big challenges today, as we already heard, there were a couple of presentations about effective meetings in distributed teams and so on, is work in distributed teams, in teams that are geographically located on different locations. And uh, <clears throat> we know that face-to-face -face communication has no substitute, and, uh, we, but we should try avoiding communicating using emails. Instead of that, we should have video conference calls uh, using uh, s uh, different tools, Skype for Business, we should also use Slack for communication, in order, uh, because that way people have feeling that they work with actual person, uh, not someone from the other side who is typing some messages. And uh, I know I was part of distributed team and now I am part of distributed team and I know how hard it can be because most of uh, majority of team is located in one location and we have other team members on different locations. We have stand-ups using Skype for business but after that stand-up the team that is on-site usually goes for a cup of coffee and then they have some discussions about current stories and so on and you feel left out, you miss uh, those discussions and they usually forget to inform you about those findings. Uh, but you should try, do your best to try to, to avoid it, as I said, using video conference calls 
And also what helped us is when we met in person actually and we had uh, work, uh, non-work non related conversations. So we worked much better after that. Addressing these challenges is one way of adding values to our Agile teams. The values we think an Agile tester needs to embrace in order to contribute effectively to an Agile team are the first one, gather and share uh, experience. Include yourself into local testing communities, attend meetups with testing subjects, come to meet fellow testers, share, share stories and experience about tools and techniques that may or may not help you helped you uh, to solve your testing problems on Agile projects. This is already a practice in our company, as Amala already mentioned. We are, uh, we are part of a shared IT Sarajevo meetup group, and once more, we invite you all to join us. What else you can do? You can learn new skills, uh, because Agile testers with right skills and right Agile testing mindset are, know that uh, uh, are continuously looking for ways a team can do a better job in producing high quality software. Uh, as Adisa already mentioned, this may mean including yourself into local meetup community uh, round tables uh, to see what other teams are working on, uh, what problems they have. It also, also means attending a confer conference like this one, attending internal external trainings, leading blocks and so on. It means trying out new tools for testing, for test automation. We should not limit ourselves to working only on testing tasks. Uh, Agile tester should be able to help developers and business representatives, customers, in addressing any kind of issue they have in Agile team. Because uh, testers who don't bother to learn new skills and to grow professionally, they contribute to perception that testing is low-skilled work today. The next one, the whole team approach. Uh, the whole team approach means evolving everyone with the knowledge and skills necessary to ensure project success. The use of a whole team approach to product development is one of the main benefits of agile development. Its benefits include increasing communication and collaboration within the team, enabling the various skill set within the team to be leveraged to the benefit of the project, Making quality is everyone's responsibility. Uh, I would like to emphasize the last uh, statement. In Agile project, the whole team is responsible for quality. The essence of the whole team approach lies in the testers, developers, business representatives, and other team members working together in every step of the development process. The whole team is involved in any consultations or meeting in which product features are presented, analyzed, or estimated. You should let your creativity flow. Creativity is characterized by ability to perceive the world in new ways, to find hidden patterns, to make connections between seemingly unrelated phenomena. And creative, uh, creativity consists of, of two parts, of thinking and producing. Because today we are living in a world where only thing that is constant is a change. So we need to constantly be reinventing to take new challenges, to try new things, new techniques, new approaches, because it's simply that's the way you have to, <laughs> if, you, if you want to be successful in today's business. The difficulty lies not so much in developing new ideas as in escaping from old ones. This value represents openness to try new ideas and approaches. Openness is one of the core Agile values. It keeps our minds available for new ideas. We need courage to let ourselves fail because if you are not failing on occasion, you are not really pushing your limits. We know that in Agile, at least we will fail fast and we will learn, some, we will learn from our mistakes. <clears throat> Next value we, we have is continuous feedback. Uh, we all know that Agile projects have short iterations uh, enabling the project team to receive quick and uh, continuous feedback. So you know that every time, uh, whatever you deliver, you, you are always working on something that has that has biggest value for customer. Uh, one way of uh, pro handling this challenge is uh, having continuous uh, 
uh, continuous integration. So every time, uh, every day, all changes are merged and integrated with the system. And you, you should have set up uh, automation job, automation build to, to run scripts uh, one, uh, once a day. So this way you will have fast feedback if changes uh, broke something or if, if it's working. And we know that as testers, we have always been information provider. If you want something in your life you've never had, you'll have to do something you've never done. Uh, responding to change is also one of the key agile value, but it's not always easy, especially for testers. Stability is what testers crave for. Agile testers should, of course, focus on their daily task, the, the task that they usually perform, but, however, they should not fear to take any task that is in the best interest of the team and from time to time to try something new. <clears throat> Constant view of the big picture. As agile tester, you should constantly uh, be aware of the big picture. If we let new features in, we risk delivering nothing. So uh, in Sprint, you have to focus on uh, what adds most value. And for example, uh, you have to focus on core functionality first. Uh, and when you are finished with, with testing this so-called happy path, then you can focus on negative scenarios. But uh, so you test in small packages every time, but constantly be aware of the whole context and of the whole of the big picture. Uh, as we already saw, creativity, openness to new ideas, willingness to take any task, constant view of the big picture. These are some, only some of the values or components of agile testing mindset. The next one, focus on customer. Testers and team members should provide information to customer and help them consider all aspects of quality, including also the non-functional requirements, such as uh, performance and security. The ultimate decisions are up to customer. The team should help customer make good decisions by taking simple, step-by-step -step approach to its work. Agile tester is ready to gather and share information, to work with the customer or with the product owner in order to help them express their requirements adequately so that they can get the feature they want, they need, and also to provide feedback on project pro progress to everyone. As Amala mentioned, testers tend to see the big picture. They look at the application more from the user or customer point of view, which means that they are generally customer focused. <clears throat> One other value is self-organize. We all know that agile testers are part of self-organizing teams, which means that every issue, testing issue or any issue at all, can be easily addressed when the team consists of individuals with different uh, skills and different perspectives working on that. So if you have a blocker, a problem that you cannot solve, you, you should know that you, you, you have to solve it with your teammates. For example, if build is broken or you have a showstopper, these are issues for the whole team to solve, not only for testers or developers. Attitude is everything. Skills are important, but attitude counts more. Without attitude, the skill is nothing. The major components are emotions and feelings. How we feel doing our job. If we are satisfied with our everyday task, we will have that great feeling that is pushing us to our limits. The second component is belief. How strongly we believe that something is right or creativity to get all the answers is rising up with our testing level confidence. The next component is affinity to take action. Uh, constantly to work on to constantly to work on yourself and accept every option that is offered to us and of course to find other options that we found that we are value and also important thing is to listen what others say to receive feedback whether it is positive or negative and in the end we can say that uh, one of the value is also joy so uh, 
work has to bring you joy. No matter how utopian it sounds, especially here in Bosnia, work has to be involving, it has to let you exercise your creativity, your instincts, and you have to enjoy your work in the end. And this is an example of, uh, from our team building, of teamwork and exercising joy. <laughs> and this side, if you can I, press I'll play. <laughs> Okay, and now these are 10 principles important for Agile testers that can be found in Agile Testing, a practical guide for testers and Agile teams, authors Lisa Crispin and Jen Gregory. Uh, the first one, provide continuous feedback, deliver value to the customer, enable face-to-face -face communication, have courage, keep it simple, practice continuous improvement, respond to change, self-organize, focus on people, and the last one, enjoy. And what do these principle, principles bring to the team? They bring business value. And as we can see, these principles are very much similar to the ones that we have identified in our discussions, on our meetups, that we have, that we have collected on our projects and our meetups. We would like to finish this presentation and conclude with this list that presents testers' bill of rights. So uh, I'm going to read it. You have right to bring up issues related to testing, quality and processes at any time. You have right to ask questions of customers and team members and receive timely answers. You have a right to ask for and receive help from anyone on the project team. You have a right to estimate testing tasks and have these included in story estimates. You have right to the tools you need to perform testing tasks in a timely manner. You have right to expect that the entire team, not just yourself, is responsible for quality and testing. And we encourage you to, to use this list to, to help testers integrate into agile teams. And that's all from us. Thank you. Thank you. If you have any comments now, <laughs> does it sound familiar, anything? <laughs>